Hi, Terry Shanefeld here for UAB School of Medicine. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the specificity of a diagnostic test. So I have a hypothetical study in which 200 patients are enrolled to evaluate the accuracy of a new ELISA-based test for influenza. 100 of the patients were diagnosed with influenza by the reference standard culture of respiratory secretions. 80 of the patients with influenza had a positive ELISA-based test, as did 5 of the patients without influenza. So I want to determine how specific the ELISA-based test is. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill in my 2x2 two two table. And by convention, I have disease status across the top as determined by my reference standard. And across the side, I have my new diagnostic test, whether it be positive or negative. And so I just need to fill in these boxes. The first thing I'm going to do is put in some um, letter designation of these boxes so that we'll use these later when we make our calculations and uh, determine a formula for specificity. So the first thing I said is there were 200 patients enrolled in the study and 100 were diagnosed with influenza. So 100 will go down here and because everything has to add up 100 will go over here as having people without influenza. So I said there were 80 patients with influenza who had a positive ELISA based test so 80 will go here and there was also five patients without influenza who had a positive ELISA based test so five will go here. Now again everything has to add up so 95 will go down here and 20 will go over here. So now we're ready to make our calculation of specificity. Now let's understand specificity though in terms um, of uh, words and not necessarily a formula first. So what is specificity? Specificity is the proportion of people without disease who have a negative test. So the proportion of people without disease who have a negative test. And again, if I think, I think if you think about specificity in terms of its word definition and not so much worry about its formula, you'll be able to figure out um, how to make the calculation um, without getting hung up on formulas. But let's think about making this calculation, specificity. So I said it was the proportion of people without disease. So everybody without disease is over here, these uh, column, which is 100 people. So 100 will go on the denominator. And I need to figure out what percentage of them had a negative test. So this box is everybody without influenza who had a negative test. So 95 will go here. And so 95 out of 100 is 95%. So the specificity of this new ELISA-based test is 95%. And if I want to look at the formula for this, I have to uh, take everybody who did not have disease. That's these two boxes, B plus D. And I want to, want to figure out what percentage of all those folks, B plus D, had a negative test. That's this box down here. So I'll have D over B plus D is the formula for specificity. So again, I think it's worthwhile thinking of the concept of specificity as the proportion of people without disease who have a negative test, and then you'll be able to make the calculation um, without worrying about memorizing formulas.